Hi you guys, it's your girl Ashley L and I'm back with another video. So you guys, I didn't take you on a process of me going straight natural, but y'all, I think I made a mistake. I cut all my hair off. Y'all, I'm like going back natural again. This is my second natural journey. My second big child, y'all. But my curl pattern is popping. Like, I have a nice curl pattern. It is popping. So, I am on this journey. And it is April. So, May, June, July. I was about my four months. Four months this should have grown out, you know? So, I'm not going to touch it. Low maintenance. Nothing. Maybe some braids or something. It's shorter on this side. Hey, guys. It's shorter on this side. But, it's about the same daily. Like, y'all see? So, I wonder what my boyfriend's going to say. But, he's going to appreciate it when I my ears like this. But, y'all. So, I haven't seen it, but that's my hair. And so, this is the heat damage, y'all. Like, y'all see those straight ends? Like, when I mean straight, like, straight. Like, what could I do with this? What could I really do with this? Like, it was eventually going to fall out anyway. Look how straight that is. Look how straight that is. Like, that is severe heat damage. Nobody here should be this straight. You know what I'm saying? So, it had to come off. So, like, it was literally right here. My hair was long. But, bro, look at the severe heat damage. Nobody should ever want to go through that. And if you do, you need to get your natural curls popping back like more. Okay? Because your curl pattern should look like this. Like, my hair would not have grown with all this severe heat damage. And when I mean severe, like, severe. Never again will I touch the flat iron. Goodbye. Oh, everyone, so this is me at like three months. It was actually flourishing. It was reaching past my nose, going towards my lips. My hair was really at a point where it was breaking off. The heat damage was really coming to it. Now it's starting to grow within these four months. Do you see that? Do you see that lamp? Do you see that? That shrinkage is really real. Do you see that curl? That curl is vivacious. Lord knows it is. My curl pattern is really like soft, like a 3C type of hair. Um, so I just keep it braided up and then let's see it, keep it up under wigs, weaves, and I think it just really grow my hair. Um, I was looking really good right here. The curl pattern just always pop. So I always do like wash and goes with these type of styles, and then I like put it in puffs. I really like the puff styles. Um, my waves, my curls was starting to flourish at a point. Then I like, you know, blow dry the scene where it became. Ten months later, it became, it grew all the way down, like shoulder length, kind of like ear length. The shrinkage is real, y'all. Like, I really got to get a grip of that. Like, how do you, like, elongate your hair? But within 10 months, it really has, like, really grown. Like, you could just see the process. Like, in the back, now I'm starting to use Garnier Fruit Teas to moisturize my hair. The pattern is really, like, a soft texture, frizzy, and it poof up. I'm trying to get away to my hair to, I'm ready for my hair to, like, instead of growing out grow down and i guess that comes with more length or more growth to the hair it will actually go down because i really am not comfortable with wearing my natural hair yet i i do wear it but i'm not comfortable with, like i want to see the length like i want to see the growth like the afro style y'all 
that first time. It's just not me. Some people just got to get used to it. But 10 months of growth is what this look like. And be proud of me. Be proud of me. Them puffs, they get in there. They get in there. They're getting there. And look at baby girl's hair right here. Amazing. Goodbye, y'all. Peace.